Tigoni is famously known all over the world for its tea. And if you're a history lover like me, then you know the role that this place played in the fight for independence as a country. And it is part of what was known as the White Highlands. And ironically, this house has been christened by a lot of people as the White House. And today we are here to tour the four bedroom machinette, which stands on 0 0.25 acres. Price tag is 50 million. It is part of what is known as Kent Bear Homes, which I've been made to understand is a community of about 60 homes. Follow me so that we can see what this place has to offer. Welcome, join me for the show. Karibu. Most people identify Tigoni uh, with cold weather, but today it, the weather is so good, that's why I'm in a t-shirt, I'm even feeling myself. And uh, this is Kentmere Homes. You have your driveway that drives down the road. And Kentmere Homes is just a few meters after Kentmere Club. I'm sure some of you might have seen Kentmere Club. Now this is Kentmere Home. And in front of me is this Greek revival piece of architecture that uh, was done by the architect is Kei Monala and the developer is Crest Corp. And I think they have done a marvelous job and we want to go inside and see what the place has to offer. But before we go inside, let me talk about the, this paved driveway that leads you into your property. The property, as I said, is 0 0.25 acres and you even have uh, the grass lawn, which is really nice. And earlier on, we were sitting there and having some water. And I mean, look at the place. Really, really beautiful. You have one thing you have to respect or identify this place with is the greenery. So much of it, a lot of trees, very saline. And um, I mean, Honestly, as much as people complain about cold weather, I can totally see myself adjusting and fitting in this place perfectly. Enough with that, let's go on and show you the house, which I know is what most of you want to see. And uh, this house has really nice features that I like. I, I like these uh, chain leaks because uh, they help, instead of your water falling down and splashing everywhere from the gutters when it's raining, it sort of uh, drips down with a chain rig. So that's a very uh, nice touch. And uh, we can see the French doors. There are so many French doors in this house. Willis, I don't know whether we, did we try counting them? There were so many. Yeah, there were so many. Yeah. I don't think we even managed to because <laughs> like- We wanted to open all of them and we couldn't yeah. because there are so many French doors everywhere you go. And the French balconies, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Really? I, I like the fact that instead of going with windows, they just went with the French doors. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because windows, why not just take it all the way down? All the way, yeah. Yeah, so it's a, it's a really nice touch. And cool also touch. as a point of uh, a point of advantage, there yeah. can be emergency exit in case of emergency. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That's a very good uh, thing to note. Yeah. And also another thing I like about it is the black fixtures mm. against the white. Yeah. you know exterior yeah so follow me because i can spend all my time explaining this house so that we can see what else they have to offer you can see all the flowers it's it's really nicely uh maintained that they're very beautiful you have this door i remember ray was very yeah, impressed that, with this, that's yeah? really impressed him. Yeah, yeah yeah and the door is very good quality i know uh willis you like Looking at it, you and we and uh, Ray, yeah, probably. are into doors, yeah. Yeah, this probably. is this is solid. Yeah, it's not hollow inside, yeah. so it's a uh, it's very nice quality, and you even nicely f uh, framed. Yeah, Willis, follow me inside, and you're welcome to, to this grand foyer that also showcases your spiral, your spiral staircase, which is a really nice touch. I love this uh, wood and metal tree yeah uh, very very good combination yeah and now you can see all the way to your ceiling yeah True. very nice i hope we will be able to capture that Definitely. so that people can see Definitely. it's a very nice place i love the you know the openness of the place you have a table console here and a lovely mirror you have a plant set up there 
and on this side you have your kitchen and your dining area and on this other side you have your, sit your sitting area let's check the kitchen first right yeah yeah you so wanna, you want to check the kitchen first yeah because that's what the, the heart of the home yeah yeah and again look at uh the french doors from inside yeah yeah uh, maybe let me show people that this actually opens because maybe some people are thinking these people are just saying yeah yeah look at that now you're outside okay. yeah now you're outside and uh i can just walk back inside so and there are so many of these you will you will see them and notice the floor is tiled but when you move to this part of the dining it's wooden floor yeah. i love wooden floors and uh, even the skirting is wooden that's a very nice touch let me remove my glasses and again the french doors i'm almost forgetting and saying windows then i remember it's doors it's door. yeah <laughs> and there's so many you have your dining set up here very spacious dining yeah right yes yeah. yeah yeah and uh moving on you have your kitchen which is huge you have this uh like a bar like a bar this is like a bar yeah. this this might not might not be like a fully open kitchen to the living room yeah. but i like how the concept is open to the yeah. dining first of all one thing you have to note because you said that yeah. is that this house is massive yeah so true. there's no way this would have been open, open to the, to the living room yeah. so you have a grand foyer at the center yeah. and the staircase yeah. building you upstairs yeah. and the sitting room is on all on of, the other, on the other yeah. side so then there's no way it could have been open. Then you have uh, your dining there. You have this island that serves as a bar, very nice worktops, granite. Yep. And uh, again, even the windows in the kitchen, big. And this room has a lot of natural lighting because of these uh, French windows. Yeah? Doors. And I, doors. <laughs> doors. I'm so sorry about that. Please don't roast me in the comment. And uh, you have this island set up. And I like that they even used uh, granite on the side. This is yeah. very nice. Huh? It's, it's a, a very nice detail. And uh, these are cabinetry for all your stuff. I like the cabinetry because, again, handles are hidden. Yeah. For me, that's, that's a good touch. And I also like this material that they used. I'm not so sure what material this is. Please, if you have any idea in the comment section, tell us. Yeah? So you have this open shelving and you also have uh, this glass cabinetry. This is always a plus for me because it means you can see your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very nice detail. And comes with these fixed appliances. So you have your, this is how many banners? One, two, three, four, five. Five banners, very good size. And they, and you have your uniform constructor there and they went with Bosch, as you can yeah. see. Yeah. Even for the other appliances, such as the oven and the microwave, just behind the wheels, we're yeah. going to show that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, again, windows and another door leading outside. And hey, before I forget, Willis. Yeah, this is always your best. So <laughs> my favorite part of the house <laughs> yeah. is the sink. And yeah. as I was explaining to you guys earlier, <laughs> Let me not go into detail. Maybe I'm going to do an episode on sinks, but yeah. this is a good uh, sink because it's a double sink with an extension. Just a press to, to press. Like, for example, when you are washing items, yeah. you can press them here. Yeah? True. So this is a proper uh, double sink and uh, I appreciate developers who go to that extent. And uh, I know it might look petty, but it's, please, if, if you're ever using your kitchen properly, then you'll understand why you I know women understand what I'm talking about, even men who use their kitchen. And again, you have uh, a dish washer. I think this is the first property. You this have is, we it. have toured quite a number of properties, yeah. and uh, this is the first property you have found a dishwasher. Yeah. A very nice thing to have, yeah? True. So this is impressive, and I'm happy that the developer here went all the way. And these are drone batteries charging. <laughs> <laughs> and. On this other side, you have a small pantry space. Uh, and again, notice the tiling, yeah? So the kitchen is tiled because in kitchens you have spillage, but the dining area is? Yeah, the dining area is wooden. Wooden, that's a very good, nice thing to note. And since you are in this space, why don't we just check out the, the, the backyard? And now we're in the backyard of this house. 
again even from this angle we just can you please show them how the the doors the french doors and the french balconies have continued this side yeah all the way a nice yeah. touch yeah? yeah a lot of them and so natural lighting will never be an issue in this place yeah. you don't even need uh, to have your lights on and again your gas has the piping has already been done for you so you just put uh, yeah. there it's just a plug and yeah. play and uh, on this side i forgot to mention this one on the front yard but you can access your backyard with this via this place yeah. so, so it's very important especially because your servant quarter is just here and um, let me open this door so it's a spacious servant quarter i would say and uh, even the servant quarter gets high ceiling yeah yeah you notice that yeah? yeah and the bathroom also is good sizing fair enough and you can you can show them that this backyard has more stuff to offer and next to the servant quarters you have this space that is your laundry area very spacious laundry area yeah you can actually open look at that look at that inside. yeah let me just open that <laughs> another i just noticed these are not your normal yeah 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 and i like the consistent with them on all the other things that are outside to unlock yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they are really they're keen to detail yeah. and this is your laundry area very spacious very spacious i must say there's still some work ongoing so i believe yeah. here you can put a sort of a bench yeah. a worktop and a sink yeah and uh, i mean look this yeah, is for your big. appliances you yeah, for your appliances that is the washing machine dryers yeah. yeah very very nice uh i i, I love these locks <laughs> yeah, that's a good detail and uh, here you have a storage area yep there you have it you can store your waruz or your waruz there you have a water tank here yeah. and uh, i even like the the babu look at the babu on the yep on the, the, the fence, fence yeah? yeah yeah well maintained well trimmed yeah that's a good quality to note and uh here you have a small kitchen garden yeah, yeah. i know so you'd love this i would yeah. love this yeah. uh, this is my dear home you know country home the only thing i would wish is that the garden would be bigger yeah. so that you can plant all our groceries there but yeah. in this case you have i mean you have your skuma wikis you have your, your kitungu there you have danias here yeah yeah it's a good kitchen garden it's a good and i see garden. there's a cabbage, cabbage. Yeah, yeah there's cabbage as well eh? yeah yeah so you're not buying a kitungu but yeah you, you have it so we'll we'll see that area after yeah so let's go inside continue the tour continue this the tour from where we left in the kitchen um just walking so that i can close this for you right and uh yeah and i like the white painting that they went with and yeah. really instead of us going through the grad foyer that we yep. entered via let's go through this point and here we have a sort of you know it sort of connects the kitchen and the dining area yeah. so they just decided to why not have a a wine uh, fridge here yeah you can have your drinks here i think yeah. this is now my favorite spot in the house the bar area yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some cabinet room to store your drinks very nice setup i love to see it and uh, just you can just come come quickly so that you can show them the the, the entrance there yeah. and the staircase going all the way up and again the open spaces ensuring that there's light, light coming to this in, area yeah. and uh, from here i can see the guard for you i can see the door i can see the front here basically yeah. and uh, actually I let, want me, you to let me use, take them around yeah, take yeah. them around yeah. so that now you can live well and now we're in the sitting area and uh, look at it quite spacious nice, yeah. i love it and i love even the kind of separation that is here so you have a TV area and just a place where people have can have conversations. Yeah. And again, look at all the French doors in this place. Massive, I know. And yeah. you have a fireplace here. Yep. Because again, this is some this area sometimes get cold. So it's good when you have wooden floors and yeah. a fireplace. Fireplace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, look at the painting there. Really nice. It's really nice. I yeah. like this painting. Like yeah, yeah it's, you commented about it yeah, when you came inside. Yeah. yeah. 
So, and on this other side, you have a um, door that, uh, in, and again, you know, I keep forgetting that these doors are French, French doors, yeah? Yep. So, by this door, I can just go back to the backyard. Yeah. So if you want to go to the backyard, you don't, there's so many ways you can reach. You can actually go to the backyard even from a bedroom that we're about to show you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and behind you, Willis, maybe you can show them quickly, is a, a common bathroom. And uh, even from this common bathroom, I can go to the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this wallpaper set up, tiled all the way to the top. Most people don't tell their common bathrooms all the way to the top. Yeah. Because there's no shower here. It's a half bathroom. But in this case, they tiled it all the way to the top. You have a good mirror set up that Willis is trying to avoid. <laughs> and you have a sink. And one thing we're going to see, Willis, and I hope people will notice and pay attention to, is that these fixtures, the taps, the towel holders, yeah. and even the bidet, yeah. they're all black. So the black contrast, with the white. With the white, yeah. I love that. I know you're going to nailish and you saw the yeah, black and, and white colors. Yeah. So for good. me that's a perfect I mean look at me, white. <laughs> so this you can never go wrong. This is a perfect place for me. I mean I love it. <laughs> and uh, on this other side you have the first bedroom. Remember it's a four bedroom houses. Even look at uh, the the suits, the sockets, the and the the contrast. Yeah. It's really amazing. Work. Yeah, and even the tones of the of the wardrobe. Yeah. yeah, it's that dark gray. Yeah, dark grayish, and you have some drawers for those who want to confirm that they're getting drawers in the wardrobe. <laughs> I realize that developers who don't put drawers in wardrobes are uh, not nice. And again, as I said, there's a French door through which you can access your yeah your backyard. And this uh, bedroom gets a very big bathroom. Very spacious, as you can see, and again, we just can't avoid the mirror there. <laughs> and look at the shower area. Remember the Greek revival aspects of this house, and there they, they showcase yeah. themselves with the tiling. And uh, I like it. Yeah. I mean, look again, bathroom windows. Remember, we just in this show we have to talk about bathroom windows. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, this and is, also, this one can open up to you the can outside. you can open to the. Like, Let's show them. <laughs> There's no point of telling them. Look at me. Yeah. I'm in the laundry area. We were here early on. Yep. Yeah. You can come in and shower. And that's like from the, the shower. Yeah. <laughs> so you can come from the garden. Yeah. Go into the, the bathroom. Yeah. And continue with life. I love this house. <laughs> this is how people should build. Yeah. <laughs> so let me cross this. Um, so we can continue with the tour. And... Uh, Follow me because you're about to see a very nice space. And I don't even know which door to use. Let me use the this one. Yeah. yeah. So um, there's a French wind door here. I'm almost forgetting calling them windows. And that opens up to your terrace. You can call it a part patio as well. And yeah. uh, it's covered, so it's it's a nice, perfect chill spot. I see the weather today is really beautiful. Willis, yep. we're getting so lucky with weather nowadays. Yeah. The other day we were at Tilisi, which is not so far from here. Yeah. And remember how the weather was good that day? Yep. Today, the weather is so good, yet it has been raining. But look at the weather today. Yeah, the so, sun is shining, yeah. it's warm. So I can just imagine myself having a chill time here. Yeah. And I'm kind of selfish because I'm, I want all these houses to myself. <laughs> I know most people think we do these tours for them. We do, the, we do these tours for me. <laughs> I, love, I love houses, nice houses, and I just love to be out here seeing them. And I'm really having a great time. And thank you guys for working with us. And I'm sure when you look at these houses, you, you get all sorts of ideas and uh, inspiration as well so it's good to see what what is happening in the country in terms of real estate yeah yep. and uh, yeah the space is really nice i'm so jazzed that i even forgot to talk about other things and uh, from this space willis wants me to start from that side i'll start from this side <laughs> so from here you have your tv setup remember this area is covered 
so it's protected from uh, the weather out there. You have a sink here because I imagine you'll be hosting people. You can have a bar set up here. Yep. You can even do barbecues from this point. Yep. And you have a cabinetry, enough cabinetry. The only thing you'll have to add here is a barbecue setup, right, Willis? Really? Yeah. Yeah. And Definitely, yeah. and I think that will be on this other side. Yeah, yeah, you can put it somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere open. Yeah, and because they even cover these seats, you can also yeah. cover your barbecue, your barbecue uh, well. uh, setup as well. Yeah. And from here, you can see your garden, which means you can also access this garden from the front yard without going through the house. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, again, this space is marvelous. Really, so do you think? I think it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know me, I'm a sucker for these spaces yeah. for barbecues. I know, and, uh, like, I wanted to say that, that, <laughs> yeah. that you, I can imagine all the, we would make us live Nairobi for barbecues every night. Every, every night, yeah. Man. Like, this is amazing. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I know it lights up well because yeah. of the lighting fixtures you yeah. see. Yeah. yeah, I know it lights up well oh, yeah. here, yeah. especially in the night. At night, huh? yeah. And uh, this, this, can you just imagine your barbecue set up there? can even have a sort of a fireplace here. Yep. Yeah, yep. to spice okay. it up. Yeah. yeah? Mm. And you have these seats as Willis was saying, well covered and yeah. enjoying a view of your house. And uh, on this other side where Willis is, you have your grass lawn that we saw in the front yard. Front yard yeah. yeah. And you have these, uh, you know, planters sort of you know, breaking that space between the, your patio area and your yeah, so your that it doesn't head. feel yeah. too open as yeah. well. Yeah, and I have to say that I really like how this grass has been well maintained. Yeah, it's a really nice touch. Yeah, and I love to see it. Yeah, yeah. So I really, I really do commend the guy who was cutting the grass here. Yeah, mm -hmm. He really did a good job. Yeah, you know, Willis, I've just realized. Huh? Uh huh. One one of the things I like about this place is that I can go back to the house without using the door we came. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, do, we that? do that. Yeah. <laughs> so let's use on the the front. <laughs> Why go? Yeah, we can take you back to yeah. the front. Oh, I just noticed. Yeah. We can't use the front door because there was um, we locked it from outside. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you opened the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you opened the French door. So maybe. Oh, you I, didn't I think lock I locked it. it as well. Let's see. I oh, locked you it. Locked it. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, <laughs> we have to. Go, go back go back the hard way that you are trying to avoid <laughs> i know you are laughing at us <laughs> <laughs> i yeah. don't think that will make it to the cut but uh, it should make it to the cut so that people realize that uh, these house tours are not uh, they are not uh, scripted yeah 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 you are trying to this is just guys having fun seeing real estate and True. sharing it with you True. yeah please Real's don't cut it don't cut it okay yeah so <laughs> This is the hallway that leads to your kitchen. We yeah. saw that earlier on. That's yeah. your common bathroom. And uh, moving on to this side is, this is your, your back at the grad foyer. You have your door that had closed. So we couldn't open because of this lock. Yeah. This one, yeah? Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so it's, it's, door from it's actually outside. a nice picture to see. Yeah, yeah. and you know what it is. And I always see people in movies do, do oh, this. Yeah. I normally see people opening for people like this. Yeah. Hi. Who are you? Who do you want? Who, who do you want? <laughs> okay, let me open for you. Now you don't know whether they're go actually going to open for you. Yeah. Or they won't. Oh, they're going to open for Now they actually open for you. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, don't get tired of us. So let's take the staircase and go up. Really, maybe you can start there so that they can see. Just stay there so that they yeah. see, you know. This staircase is, is a nice piece of architecture. Yeah, also the, the floor. Can you see how the floor is yeah, done? Yeah. yeah. After commit the developer, they did a very nice job. And uh, I mean, even the construct of the house has delivered a good piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, now we are at the upstairs landing. And on this side, we have the primary bedroom that you'll see later on. And here we have a balcony that you're going to see the front yard balcony, yeah? Yep. So let's see it before we see this space, yeah? Okay. Okay. And, I mean, it feels nice standing up here, enjoying the breeze and beautiful neighbor's house. And trees. Guys, I hope from the drone shot you can see the amount of greenery in this area. Yep. And guess what? It's not green because it's raining. This is Tigoni for you, 365 days. Yeah. 
every other day. <laughs> I used to call them white highlands because this, when the white people came here, they fell in love with the place. Unfortunately, they decided to take away, to take it away from the indigenous. I love history, and that history kind of it's touchy to me. It's a touchy affair. And if you know the stories that happened here, what happened in Tigoni, what happened uh, in Lari, maybe you have even heard of the Lari massacre. If you haven't, read about it, check documentaries about it. I'm always getting teary thinking about it. But it's a nice place to be. You can see why people would have wanted to fight for it. Wow. Wow. So I've noticed like there's that uh, house there that uh, we are looking into. Yeah. And we were told that that's the clubhouse. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to have a swimming pool yeah. as well. Yeah. They are working on the swimming pool. I can see the area that they have dug out yeah. for the swimming pool. And uh, so the clubhouse will have a gym. Yeah. So yeah. And they will also have a shopping sort center. of a center, small shopping center on the front yard yeah. where we entered by the gate. Yeah. That area is still not complete, that's why maybe we haven't been able to show it to you guys, but they are working on it and I'm sure in no time they'll have it done. Yeah. And it's a small community because it's 60 homes. Yeah. So the, for people who don't want crowded spaces and this is definitely the, this is definitely it. A place not so far from Nairobi but at the same time a bit out of town. Yeah. So this is it. Yeah, and very well positioned because from Tigoni, if you want to go to, to access the Nakuru Nairobi Highway, you're just a few kilometers from that road. If you want to access, uh, you know, Dika Road, I mean, you just drive off towards Bypass. And if you want to access Nairobi Town, I mean, very easy. It's well centered, I would say. Yeah, very good location. For people, sometimes people complain about the prices, but also have to think about the land prices in this area yeah. so this this is that's determined sometimes the cost of the house so if this house if you took this house to kamulu it wouldn't cost that much for sure yeah because sure. land there is way cheaper yeah. yeah yeah so it's always good to do those smarts and at the end of the day it's about where you want to live yeah yes and, and uh, who you want to be your neighbor and who you want very important point <laughs> <laughs> so let me cross this door for you willis yeah and uh, did we talk about this exposed beams and the ceiling? Look at that. No, it, we never mentioned. Yeah, very nice piece of. Yeah, it's ceiling. nicely done, and it yeah. makes uh, the house feel a little bit higher. higher. Yeah, and even downstairs, I forgot to talk about this, the high, this high ceilings. Yeah, but they are yeah. very high ceilings. Yeah, they're very high. And uh, this place takes it to a notch higher. Because the ceiling here went with the roof line. Yeah. That's why I have it uh, exposed and at the same time very high. Yeah. And I like, it also makes the room airy. So very, looks big. Sure. Yeah. And uh, look at that. It's airy, not airy. <laughs> look at the chandelier there. And uh, really, so remember some, sometimes back we went to a house, we did see it on the video, yeah. but we had our personal feelings. We felt that the chandelier was too big for that space. Yeah, it was too big for that. Space. So now I think now you get the ideal chandelier. I'm yeah. sure for those people who have been watching, this is what maybe like depending on your your space, your open space. Mm -hmm. Don't put a very big chandelier that is sort of you know takes everything from yeah. that space. But this is a very simple setup that just adds on to that space yeah. that doesn't take a, take away from it and um, that just shows you how the person who did the setup was keen to details and that's a good thing to note again wooden floors continue i love that they they went with these wooden floors and you have your another family sitting set up here maybe you can have this as a either you can use it as a media area yeah. if you don't want uh, noise downstairs and man, enjoy your TV, enjoy your movies from here and enjoy the silence in this place. Very nice, very nice. Ooh. And 
these French doors continue to bring a lot of natural light. Really, there's a question you asked earlier on. Mm -hmm. You're asking whether someone can stand on this balcony, yeah. these French balconies. Yeah, it's steel. So, so you want to test it? I want to test it. Okay, let's do it. And uh, I hope I don't fall. I hope <laughs> this won't be the end of this show. <laughs> yeah. Of course it won't. It's strong. Yeah. Yeah, so from here I can see uh, the backyard. And there's just, uh, I mean, look at all the greenery. Yeah, breath of fresh air yeah. as well. This is, this is shags for real. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This is the countryside. Ah, it's very nice. And now from here I have very good views of the kitchen garden and uh, the, 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 the laundry area. Yeah? yeah. The backyard, definitely. Um, let me close that. And so that we can continue with the show. I love this floating, you know, TV cabinetry. Because anything floating means you can clean your floors, floors easily, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So, and this heat, have you noticed that everything has hidden uh, in handles yeah, in this yeah. house? That's a very good touch. It shows you that the person who was doing this job was not just doing picking things. Yeah. They're actually consistent with, what with, the, we, design with well. the designs, yeah? yeah? So you have two bedrooms, yeah? And um, before you go to the bedrooms, I have this cabinetry sort of a, a you know, like a small mini kitchenette area to serve mm. this uh, sitting area. Yeah. So it, that's why you have this fridge. You can have your water, your drinks. You have a coffee, a, a, a jug here to heat up water. You know, if yeah. you want to make some coffee. You even have tea bags here. Yeah. And sure. since you're in Tigoni, I'll not show them. And. Uh, no, they have not paid. The, the, the team companies have not paid. <laughs> yeah. So it's not paid promotion. I'm not trying to advertise them. I just wanted to show you what you can do with this space. And we can start with this bedroom and uh, immediately walk into this. This is the second bedroom, yeah? yeah? There was one bedroom downstairs. There's a first bedroom on this level. And you have the, the sizes of the bathroom are big, yeah? Yeah. And really, mm -hmm. I've noticed that we've forgotten a very important detail. The, the size of the doors. Yeah. Yeah. These doors are massive. And it's all the doors. If you're talking about this door, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that we are short people. These Do doors are huge. Do you think uh, this is uh, what they call beam to floor? Or? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Okay. That, uh, I'm sure there's some architect watching. Yeah. Please comment. Maybe they it. can advise yeah, on they that. Yeah, can advise us on that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, on this other side, you have this door that opens up to your bathroom. And I like the, that they incorporated grass there. You have the sink set up, the black fixtures that we talked about, the mirror there, you know, really is trying to avoid it. And look even how the ceiling is exposed in your, in your bathroom. bathroom yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And uh, the bathroom is well lit because there's a lot of natural lighting. Mm -hmm. Coming in, you have this massive uh, they call it a window or a door? That's actually a window. That's not it's a, a window. Yeah. yeah. And this opens up to the, to the, almost to the gate area of the community, yeah. Yeah. Kentmere Homes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's close that. But I'm imagining all the breeze that will be coming in as I'm enjoying my shower exactly. here. And um, this bathroom, I can tell from this angle that it's slanting on this side. That's it's going to, to, the, to help with the flow of the yeah. water. Yeah? And I like the grass separation and your rain head there, your black fixtures again. And uh, let's move on and check out the, 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 the bedroom. Again, the word, similar wardrobe setup. These carpets, we noticed that they're very soft. They're very soft. <laughs> they're yeah. very soft. Yeah. You'd have to actually step on them with, uh, you know, without shoes so that you, you understand see, yeah. how uh, soft they are yeah. and you have another a french a french door there french door here with the, the balconies as well yeah so if you're talking about lighting in this house natural lighting that is yeah. there's a lot it's of a, it yeah. and you have your wallpapered wall there back. And, and, and i like that they just went with shears and they didn't do curtains yeah yeah yeah, yeah very I love this sort of shears because they almost look like curtains, curtains but yeah, they are not they're curtains not. and they are not like shears, they are just in between them. Yeah. yeah, very nice material. And I love the, the, the bedside lighting yeah. because they hang from the ceiling. From the ceiling. Yeah. 
So that's a nice touch. And the developer here and the architect, they, they really did a good job. And follow me so that you can check out the other bedroom. And again, the massive doors. And this is solid wood. Yeah. So I commend them for that. It actually and looks heavy. Yeah, it looks heavy, but it moves with ease. Yeah. yeah you don't feel like it's heavy. And again, very huge bathrooms. You have your mirror set up, your sink, your toilet. And this, this is a very good touch, yeah? the bidet. I know yeah. people might not think much about it, but if I have to come to a house and you know, go an extra to, 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 into my pocket, two. yeah. <laughs> because you see, time for just using tissues, I have to say this, is about hygiene. Yeah. Time for just using tissues are long gone. Yeah. Water is water is good, very important. Tissue is water. much cleaner as so. well. Yeah, yeah. Good. Let's maintain hygiene. And you have your bathroom area. And I love how this they recessed this place. They, yeah. I mean, you are place to soap. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So this is a very nice touch. Instead of having it floating here, yeah. This is this is the way to go, developers. And again, the black fixtures. I have to talk about it. Have you noticed something about these stylings? Mm -hmm. They almost make you think that it's, uh, a, it's a textured. Wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, textured wallpaper. Yeah. It's a, it's a very nice touch. A very clever it's, touch. It's a, it yeah. looks nice. Yeah, and. I, I think I, I know really you like this because you like glass glass separation. Yeah, I yeah. like glass separation. Yeah, instead of a block of yeah. uh, stone. There's a property also in where they had a they had a block. block yeah, and you do like that. Yeah. yeah. So this bedroom is this is a bedroom, but it's not set up. Uh, as you can see, you have similar uh, lights hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. And uh, you have your shears, your French doors. This, this one up, you can see the road from this point. Yeah. A lot of trees. I mean, goodness. There's a car there going. By the road and there's yeah. another one yeah. passing. Yeah. yeah. And beautiful homes, but very, very nice area, location. Yeah. And let's move forward. And I, I think I didn't talk about the artworks. This, the artworks are not many, yeah. but they, they are not all over your face, but they are really nice. So the person who did the artwork, if you're watching this video, nice touch. Nice touch. You have good taste. Yeah. Yeah, you have very good taste. And uh, let's move on to this uh, master bedroom or primary bedroom. And uh, this primary bedroom gets tons of these French doors. And I mean, also, from I all thought that angles. was a corner. I, I also thought that's why I went for the shears. <laughs> But it's massive, massive, and uh, I mean, yeah, the space is just too huge in here. Yeah, it's there's a lot of space, yeah. Yeah. And hey, this is a proper, I think this proper is a bedroom. Californian king. I don't is think. It? I'm not sure. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure about that. I don't yeah, think because it, is. it feels so big. The it house feels big. It yeah, feels, the room is big, and yeah. it's, it feels also it so. It feels big. very big. It's a very big yeah. bed. But I think a Californian bed would be bigger than this. Bigger than this. Yeah, but yeah. this one is still very big. Okay. And uh, your headboard here, or rather your back is, you know, is uh, wallpapered. Again, this the, the beams, the exposed beams. Even the way they are. Can you see the nuts the, that have bolted them together? Yeah. I just love how they're all ex those exposed details. Yeah, they're detailed in black. Yeah, yeah. The are these attached to it that they give this house, mm -hmm. and I love to see it. And even the the way this ceiling looks, like it, the, the look almost like a sawdust gives you a sawdust feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love to see it. And um, windows again. From this point, I can see the patio area, and uh, I can see my neighbor down there, which lovely house. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing about this controlled uh, development that most people don't, maybe don't talk about when they are comparing their prices to some yeah. places, yeah. is that there's no way someone is going to come next year and build a flat. Yeah. So you cannot tell me that, ah, see, I would rather go to Kamulu and build. Yeah, yeah but someone is going to put a flat next to you. Yeah. So, like, your privacy is now. <laughs> yeah, gone. so your privacy is gone. And when you grow, then you're trying to, you know, to, yeah. you, you're trying. Just to enjoy your property. Yeah. Let's just say enjoy your property. You, you cannot enjoy your property <laughs> with a flat next to you. So, it's, it's good to take certain things into consideration, young yeah. people, as you're investing in houses. Yeah. And uh, I love this setup. 
you can use it for your makeup prices you can sit here when you're putting on your shoes yeah. again this carpet is soft you guys have no idea <laughs> hey Hey, just feel hey, like hey. Uh, removing your shoes. Yeah, even remove, I feel like removing my <laughs> shoes just to walk. I remember when we walked in, yeah. Ray was like, ah, This is soft. This is too soft. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have your wooden floors. These wooden floors are very important. It's such a cold area because they'll keep it warm for yeah. you. So, it's not that cold. It's, I'm in a t shirt. And Willis is in a shirt. Yeah. And Willis immediately walk into this space. You are welcome to your closet, walk-in closet, yeah. a proper walk-in closet, and uh, this walk-in closet gets uh, LED lighting so that you can see your clothes, you, you get, uh, I mean, look at all this lighting, and uh, there's a big mirror, I know really so you try everything to avoid this, yeah, <laughs> and you have your drawer set up, and I, I like the tone they went with, that's a good touch, yeah. you have your glass sort of shelf in there, I mean, this, this place is lovely. Yeah. Yeah, very nice, it looks very, nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you remember when you took a GTC there was a sort of like a setup where yeah. if you walk in yeah. you get the it would light yeah. up. I, yeah. I, I really wish they went with that in this one. I think if, if really you wanted maybe something you can work on. Yeah. But uh, this is still very good. Yeah. And and also I like what I like about this that the one you mentioned did not have. Yeah. No, not that I'm not comparing bad uh, light, I'm just yeah. saying is that this one yeah. gets natural lighting. True. For me, a closet that has a natural lighting is such a plus. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if you feel that this is not enough because it's frosted, mm -hmm. you can just open this uh, window yeah. and you get even more natural lighting coming in. Yeah, yeah. Sure, so. so this this is a very good touch and I haven't seen it in many houses. Yeah. I think this is the first house that we're actually seeing that has a, a I mean, a, close it with natural lighting. So sometimes people would go with a skylight. Yeah. And uh, in this case, this developer has gone with a window, yeah. a big window. window yeah. So that's a very nice touch. And a mirror, a massive mirror there. <laughs> good, good, good setup. And now we're in the bathroom. And uh, let me tell you a bit about this property. I first saw pictures of it online, people posting it. And I tried to access it for a long time. We are a new channel, so sometimes when you try to access properties, it's very difficult. In fact, if you know of a nice property, plug us. Because sometimes people are looking at how many views do you have, how many subscribers do you have, they don't look at the quality of your work. Yeah. Yeah. It's only now that people are starting to notice our quality of work. Yeah. Also, but not even just the quality of yeah, work, yeah. like even the quality of viewers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, oh, yeah. yeah. because we have viewers <laughs> who are actually converting into Let me tell you a story, funny story. You have a house that had very few views. Yeah. I won't say which house it is, but it has the most, most inquiries and buyers. Yeah. Not just yeah. inquiries, but buyers. buyers and well. So sometimes don't look, just look at, uh, you know, how many viewers they have. Mm -hmm. Also think about the quality of the viewers. Yeah. And uh, so it was very hard to get this house and I'm very happy because eventually a lady called Michelle, who works at Night Frank, talked to Paul. Paul is a colleague and they hooked us up with this house. Yeah. And we make sure we give you the, the contact so in case you want the house you can reach out to them. However, you can also reach out to us and we connect with, with them and uh, we can also advise you in case you need some advice about properties. Yeah. It is uh, in, in the real estate market in Kenya. And um, I was I was saying some of that because sometimes people think what we do is so easy but it's really, really hard. Yeah, there is a piece yeah, of work. And especially accessing some of these properties. Yeah. But this bathroom was one thing that made me want to come to this house because of all the natural lighting that you get in this bathroom. Yeah. It's so much. And yeah. it's so spacious. Like Willis, I know there's a house we toured and you complained about the single sink yeah. <laughs> for the price you felt you deserved two sinks. <laughs> and in this case, they had you yeah. and you have a sink yeah, there. Have a sink. They have a sink here, his and hers, yeah? yeah. And if you're like me, his and his. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in no, the, they may think, he's, they may think he's, he's, for no, 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 let me correct that. Yeah. Mine in the morning, Mine in the, the evening. evening. <laughs> That's what I meant. Not what you, you think. And you have a 
very nice mirror there. A huge, massive. Willis is always avoiding mirrors, but I'm sure in this case you won't avoid this one. Yeah. Well lit. And because you have so much natural lighting, you don't even need the, the lighting. And uh, you have some sockets here in case you use to a dryer, a shaver. You have cabinetry for your towel, your, or, or everything that you might need in the bathroom. And I uh, like this, again, recessed house because you know, they're seamless, clean. And this is, well, this, this they have used a granite top and the black fixtures, again, it's the white sinks. Yeah. Looks very nice. And you have your toilet there, you have the day, you have, I mean, well, tiled as, at, at the same time. And uh, you have your shower area here, spacious. Yeah. Yeah, with your rain head, with yeah. your hard held, very nice touch. And uh, on this side, you have a tub and some windows there to bring natural lighting, your tile racks. I know, I know Willis would have wanted this window to be here. Yeah, all the way down Massive. so that I can have views of, <laughs> you know, whatever. I believe those are some changes you can make for yourself, for yourself. when you get the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's a nice idea. Yeah. But even to have it this way, because sometimes you go to a very nice places that have this kind of setup, but it's so dark. Yeah, true. Oh, look at this. It, it is well lit. It's well lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to commend them for that. Yeah. Again, your exposed ceiling. Your, you know, the yeah, base. They're, they're I mean, consistent with it on there. Yeah, they're consistent. Yeah. They have maintained it ever in the house. Yeah. And yeah. for me, that's a good touch to see. I love to see it. And well, that's it for this house. And really, I actually noticed something. Mm -hmm. You won't believe it, okay. but when I walked here, mm -hmm. the LEDs went on. For real? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> we try and get it in the bureaus, but yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. So, and th I mean, we're back at the, the primary bedroom and all the way back to your, you know, landing. I want you to stand there with this because I want to stand here as I end the show and say that we are really grateful for those people who are watching. Thank you for working with us on this journey. Like I said, we love real estate and uh, we are happy to showcase these places, I mean, to, to enjoy the journey with you and, and to be growing with you. And uh, even those people who actually went, go all the way and uh, buy based on how you have showcased a place. Thank you, man, thank you. I feel like shouting out someone, but let me not do that <laughs> for privacy reasons. But thank you, thank you to those people. I, I really appreciate you. It's a it's a stamp of you know authority that people actually like our work. And uh, to those people who even take their time to comment, we appreciate you. Oh man, you, you make me feel all. Oh. <laughs> uh, so thank you. <laughs> it has been lovely to showcase this house and uh, we'll leave all the details in the description. And my name is Mark Mansa, behind the camera is Willis. Willis, any last words about this house? Amazing scenes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm very happy because we did the show. I I know Willis, you know that I've really, really tried to accept this property for a long yeah. time. If, if, so so have I, like I have always wanted to tour this place. I've seen photos of yeah. it online. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen people um, posting do. about it. On, um, and they do quick yeah. reels. And they do quick reels. <laughs> But uh, we really wanted to do like a, a, a Proper, detailed tour. A detailed tour. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you finally got to be here yeah. and we got to see the house yeah. with all its glory. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it, it's, it's been a pleasure. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, leave a comment, leave a like. Share with your mom, share with your dad. Share with your nyanyes. <laughs> share with all your friends. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>